How about the notion in dogmatic religion that God is angry or judgmental? How does that fit with what near-death experience and the research? How does that fit? I've yet to hear of any experiencer, adult or child, that spoke of an angry God or a fearful God or a God that was upset or in any way anything but loving and accepting and forgiving. However, I have heard of many times of the various greeters who come to greet people once they've crossed over to the other side. Some of those can be quite critical. Some of those can be quite strict. Some of those can be rather frightening. Some of those can be like demonic or monstrosities. So those can be unpleasant. Uh, those who have an unpleasant experience or the, the people who initially, the initial guide is maybe not a very nice guide, but takes you into a more pleasant experience. So when it comes to the greeter, those can be all manner and range of beings and feelings and attitudes. But as far as the one great light, what you and I would call God, no. Nothing negative, nothing horrific, nothing frightening. Um, I'm going to have to hedge a little bit on the word frightening because sometimes that greater light, and they often call it a light, is so piercing and so raw and so powerful that it is frightening in the sense that it is awesome. And it is so awesome that it, it's overwhelming. So in that sense, it can be a little scary or a little frightening. Not because it's negative, but because it's so big and so powerful. So some people are, are kind of intimidated by that or overwhelmed by that. But that, that's the individual, that's the experience, but the light itself, no, its, its nature, has no anger or judgment. As none such. whatsoever. No anger, no judgment, no. Some of the greeters do, but not the one great light.